What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Son of a Tech once again. Today, we have a quick tutorial for you guys, which is how to receive Bitcoin payouts through two miners. Now, the reason for this video being so late is I just haven't been doing it in this manner. I have been focused on using other options, including but not limited to, of course, Flexpool, Ethermine, as well as crazy pool all of those basically pay out eth on a different network but if you send it essentially to crypto.com or coinbase as an exchange it kind of just converts it all into eth making it super simple two miners acts in a different kind of form essentially with two miners what you have to do is go in and basically change your worker address to Bitcoin. And that means that essentially you have to basically change the, how your miner is set up in the config files. We're going to cover it for Hive OS and of course Windows. And let's go ahead and hop into it. So first of all, you need your Bitcoin address. And for that, what I'm really going to show you guys how to do is just basically snag that from whichever application you prefer, right? Whether that's Coinbase or going to be crypto.com. Why are we using exchanges like this? Because if we are miners, our primary goal is to first of all, mine enough to pay for our costs. And the easiest way to do this in a lot of cases is going to be Coinbase or crypto.com because you have a debit card that you can load up with that crypto you've mined and go ahead and pay for those costs. Then from there, you can take the rest at the end of the month or however you prefer to do it and send it to cold storage or swap it out within the exchange for a coin you want to hold and then send that off to coin storage. Today, we're just going to be talking about essentially this. So Alrighty, so from here, we're just going to go ahead and start with Coinbase. Coinbase is a little bit different in the way you deposit. You're going to have these little ellipses in the top right. You're going to go ahead and click it, and then you're going to click the receive button. And from here, it should give you an option to select Bitcoin, and then we'll just need to grab that wallet address. You can click I understand, go through all the warnings if you want to transfer crypto faster, blah, blah, blah. And then from here, you're going to have your address and you're just going to go ahead and click the copy button and you can email that to yourself or however you want to send it. it doesn't need to be encrypted because it's not a private key or anything like that that's your public receiving address so once you've copied that out and sent it over we'll go ahead and cover how you put that into of course hive os etc next is you're going to go ahead and look at crypto.com i think crypto.com is a little bit easier to deposit but i am a little bit biased because I do utilize it the most. So you can go to your accounts and then click down on your crypto wallet, select the Bitcoin, select the transfer button and click the deposit button. And then from here, you can just go ahead and copy your wallet address out from here and send that on over to wherever you need. Making sure it's on the Bitcoin network and not on the Binance Smart Chain network because the payouts will not work there. Now for this particular case, what I will show you guys is that I have basically confirmed that you can complete a deposit here. This one was directly from two miners and this was the last deposit that we got from them. It's functioning and working properly. So this process does work. All right, so the next thing that you're going to take a look at, of course, is on Windows. What are you going to do? Well, you currently probably have like your configuration file set up and ready to go. So depending on whichever mining application you utilize here, all you really need to do is take the Bitcoin address from either Coinbase or Crypto.com and paste that into your configuration file. Once you start mining with that, essentially what will happen is that two miners will recognize that address as a Bitcoin address and then do all of the rest of the work in the background. For Hive OS, it's a little bit different. So let's go ahead and talk about the wallet creation here because that's going to be important. Okay, so we are in our farm. It looks like I have one GPU that's not functioning. We got to go over to the farm and get that fixed. So look forward to a vlog for that. But wallets right now, as you guys can see, we have a ton of wallets in here. And the biggest mistake most people make is actually creating the wallet as a Bitcoin wallet. So what you really want to create the wallet as is an ETH wallet, which is a little confusing. So you're going to come in here and create an ETH wallet. 
Then you're going to take your Bitcoin address, whatever that may be, and paste it into the address slot. Once you've done that, you're going to go ahead and name the wallet. Now for me, I already have this created and what I'll show you guys is that we essentially created it in a or named it in a way that basically makes it clear that we are mining Bitcoin, right? So we're going to go ahead and scroll down and find it. And right here, we just named it ETH BTC. So this is actually my Bitcoin address. And then we named it ETH BTC, but the wallet is Ethereum. So then from there, all you really got to do is go back to your workers, select a worker that is mining Ethereum, go to your flight sheet, edit the flight sheet, and go ahead and you will select the coin as Ethereum, the wallet as ETH Bitcoin, and then the pool as two miners, and then whatever miner you prefer to use on that worker. Once that's completed, you will essentially be able to go ahead and look it up on the actual two miners dashboard. So we're gonna go back here, we're just gonna copy out our Bitcoin address, right? And then we're going to go over to the mining pool and just search for the Bitcoin address here. And then it's going to pull it up to confirm that it's actually mining the Bitcoin. What you can do is click the account settings. And what you'll notice is that your minimum payout value will actually go down to 0 0.005 ETH because it's going to have less fees for them to go through. Then once you get the payouts, here's how that's actually going to look. So you can see here that we have a payout and we're gonna click down on it. And what you'll notice is that they say like here, we sent this to your address at this time, right? And you'll be able to go ahead and check and see if that transaction went through. Now this process takes a little bit longer than if it's just sending Ethereum because here are the steps it's going through. They have to start an exchange process of your mining reward and they send your coins to an exchange. And then when they're sent to the exchange, they'll give you the transaction ID. Then the crypto exchange will receive the coins. The exchange then will go through a process and it'll give you how much ETH that you mined and then how much it exchanged it for. And it'll give you the exchange rate. Then it'll say that the coins are withdrawn from the exchange and the coins will come back to two miners. And then once two miners receives your coins, they'll actually send it out to you. Now, in my humble opinion, while this is a fantastic option for a lot of people, especially because now you're getting paid out in Bitcoin, the process is much slower than just getting paid out on a different chain like Binance Smart Chain for Crazy Pool or on Ethermine like Polygon and of course Flex Pool like Polygon. This process is a lot slower and you're getting paid out in a different currency. So there's a couple weird things about it, in my humble opinion, that don't make it as enticing as the other options, especially that slow exchange time and all of that. Also, because you're not getting paid out right away, it's gonna make it more difficult for you to track, in my humble opinion, those transactions for taxable income. You're gonna get taxed on, of course, what you get paid out in Bitcoin, and you'll have to get that tracked and everything, but it's going to delay that payout. So in theory, of course, if while this pro pro process is going on, the price of Bitcoin or ETH goes up, then that income tax for when it gets paid out is going to go up. So it's not as exact and not as quick, and it can cost some things there. The good news is you're still getting daily payouts albeit with some long exchange times, right? At this point, I think it's around an hour and a half or so. Actually, we can confirm that. The process started at 6.10 a.m. and ended at 7.38 a.m., so about an hour and a half for you to get this full transaction sent and completed as opposed to much quicker payouts if you're utilizing a different chain. I wanted to go over this process with you guys because it is a little bit different. It's a little nuanced and all of that. The other question that I have on income taxes that I'll have to go through my CPA for mining in this particular situation is do you technically have to pay on that trade or not? That's kind of up in the air. In some cases, that might be the case that you do have to pay on that trade, which in this case would make it extremely difficult to go through and figure out how all that would work. We'll just have to see where it goes from there. My assumption is at this point that would be too much to require a miner to do. And so it'll just be based off of the Bitcoin that's getting paid out to your address because that's the only address you 
can technically control. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you prefer this payout method with that ex automatic exchange essentially happening? Or would you rather utilize a basically a different chain of Ethereum to get paid out in that token and avoid fees that way? Either way, hopefully this video was helpful and you guys are aware of how this functions now. Definitely, if you're going to utilize Coinbase or Crypto.com, use my affiliate link in the description below to get a funding bonus when you sign up. And I will see you next Tuesday. If you enjoyed this content, be sure to hit the subscribe button for more or check out this playlist for more crypto content related topics.